Welcome back, Trudy Brewer, our talented beauty expert. And we are talking foundation today. We are. So why do women of a certain age sort of shy away from going and getting foundations? I think there's a couple of reasons. One is probably they feel like it's going to sit in their fine lines or wrinkles and make them look older. Yeah. Um, and I also think women are quite scared of going into beauty department stores and actually laying themselves bare and saying, I need a new foundation. I think they think they're going to be sold something they don't like or want. Well, in all honesty, sometimes that does happen. It does happen. But... Um, and also I think that people get stuck in a makeup rut. Mm. They wear the same makeup from something that they used when they were 20 and they're still using it at 40 because they think, oh, I know the colour, I'll just go get it. Yeah. So there's a couple of reasons. Not always the best thing to do, is it, wearing no. the same thing when you're 20? So what no. are some of the new textures and finishes that we're seeing for summer? At the moment, there's a real trend to um, makeup longevity. So there's some really clever um, ingredients that help the makeup really last, but also for it to be hydrated and have skincare benefits and I mean mixing all those things together is no is not an easy feat so there's a lot of um, research that goes into foundation now and often it's really an extension of your skincare mm. um, and I think if you can get your head around that and think of something that you I mean you look after your skin with skincare Foundation is the ultimate protection to the environment because most of them now contain an SPF. Good. And they're a shield to the environment um, as well as making you look a little bit better than you do or bit better, like better than your normal self. So they're a treatment skin. for your skin as well. They are. So what, um, what do you start with when you're looking for a new foundation? What should you be thinking about? Well, I always say that colour is really important, obviously, because you don't want it to look like a mask. Mm. But really, you sort of need to narrow down what your skin type is and what your skin needs. And I mean, I've just pulled some of these from Instagram of women who look amazing who are wearing foundation but you can still see their natural skin tone yes. through the makeup and that should be your goal so narrow down what your skin needs look at what you really want to cover because that's the other thing often you can do it with a concealer you might not need a full face mm. of foundation um, and really decide on your skill your makeup skill what you prefer to use fingers brush sponge um, and then sort of work backwards from there where should you um, put it like on your face to test like not on the back of your hand obviously. never on the back of your hand and never on your neck because your neck is a different color to your face put it down the center of your face rather than the sides of your face because that's what people look at mm. You know, when you're looking at somebody, you really look at that T-zone, that main panel, and remove what you have on. So go into the store, get the get the assistant to take off what you've got on and put it down the centre panel. Or go out naked. So what about colour rules? Warm versus cool? I mean, how do you how do you find the right colour match? Don't yeah, it is trial and error. I think most New Zealanders have um, a yellow base to their skin. Um, there's very few New Zealand women that have pink based skin, it's more yellow based skin. So if you're not sure, look at the, the label and anything that's got a beige tone to it or the, or the name beige, it's quite safe to think that that's yellow tone Okay. Um, and that's, that's a warm foundation. So I think the worst thing about choosing the wrong colour is if you go too pink and your skin is yellow, then it really does look like you're wearing makeup. So what are some foundation no-nos, apart from that one, obviously? Um, never wear it on your neck and never wear a whole face of foundation. You don't need to. You just really need to cover and, and improve what you want to, to give a seamless look to. It doesn't need to be a whole mask it doesn't need to be does it? I start in the middle and just do a few dots and then blend outwards. And by the time you get to the cheeks, you really don't need very much foundation at all. So what have you brought us? in today to have a look at. Look, I bought some new innovation. A lot of them are all um, long wearing and also with SPFs, but they actually are treatment foundations. So all of these foundations have something in common okay. and that is that they include or they contain skin loving ingredients. So they're an extension of your skin care. And that's SPF 20. What about this that's, one here? So that's a really great um, new makeup, Bare Minerals Pro. It is 99% natural. Wow. That's and good. it's skin care with a tint of colour. So natural minerals, um, hydrating ingredients. Another great one from Osmosis. This is new. Osmosis is a really brilliant skin care brand. That is actually skin care with a tint and it's got a natural titanium dioxide and uh, SPF in it as well. Sounds great. Um, this is a new one from YSL, it launches this month, all hours. It's designed for a younger person who really only wants to put their makeup on once. Okay. Um, and it lasts for a long, long time. 
Um, a bit of a favourite of mine, the Youth Effects. That is a great makeup for anyone who is wanting to cover any imperfections like brown spots or uh, fine lines. And finally, just launched as well, the Natio Tinted Moisturiser. I think we've forgotten that these are so good. They're like a moisturiser with an SPF that's got a natural mineral tint. And it's great for summer because it's very sheer, very hydrating and long lasting. Trudy, it's always so much fun having you in the studio Aww. telling us of what's Thank new you. and what's good. Thank you so much. Pleasure. And you can go to, um, go to Trudy's website to find out more, beautyeq.com.nz.